Welcome to the Darren Marlar Radio Show. That's me, Darren Marlar. You can find me online at DarrenOnTheAir.com. That's D-A-R-R-E-N OnTheAir.com. When you're there, you can uh, well, you can actually uh, click on the mobile app tab, and you can download my free mobile app. And that way, once the show is over, if you want to get a podcast of the show, you can listen to it there. Coming up on today's show, Michigan troopers, they did not have to go very far to make a drunk driving bust in our Brain on Drugs story. Got Question Impossible coming up. How fast can you run? One man tried to run 100 miles per hour and reached a moment of duh. Got the useless fact on the way. The uh, the most attractive cat woman of all time, in my personal opinion. She celebrates a birthday today. We'll tell you who that is. Imagine your lawnmower cutting grass using only a beam of light. Details coming up. And what types of friends, the types of friends that you have, what does that say about your personality? I'll let you know here in just a bit in our weird holidays today. Warning, portions of uh, the following program may try to sell or promote something. And believe me, those are the most important portions of the following program. Ladies and gentlemen, the Darren Marlar Radio Show. Come on. This is important. The most significant event on the internet today. Who, may I ask, are you? Darren Marlar. Bad posture can make your neck creak and your shoulders ache. But recent research, it shows that your slouch might be making you a grouch, too. In a recent study from San Francisco State University, slouchers reported increasing feelings of depression and lower energy. Which, which is odd, because typically I slouch because I'm depressed and tired. I'm disturbed! I'm depressed! I'm inadequate! I got it all! Taking a look at today's weird, wacky, strange, zany, odd, bizarre, quirky, unusual holidays. Today is Wednesday, August 16th, 2017. You now have 130 shopping days until Christmas. And today is Stay Home With Your Kids Day. It's a day to support and encourage stay-at-home parents. Now, if you're already at work, well, just go up to your boss and tell him, uh, hey, uh, boss, uh, Darren Marler on the radio today. He said you're supposed to that you're stay, supposed to stay home today with your kids. So I'm gonna go home. Uh, I'm sure your boss will completely understand. Uh, today's National Tell a Joke Day, and if you happen to be a stay-at-home parent, you're probably going to get enough jokes as it is. How many times can you hear "knock knock"? Who's there? Banana? Before you're just going a little bananas yourself. Uh, today is Remember What Your Spouse Wore the First Time You Met Day. Ooh, if anything was designed to get husbands in trouble, it is this day, am I right, guys? Now, personally, I do remember what my wife was wearing that very first day we met. She was wearing a red and white polka dot dress. Uh, well, at least I, I think it was red and white. It, it may have been stripes. You know, then again, come to think of it, she could have been wearing blue jeans and an orange shirt. Oh, you know, crap, I'm in trouble. Uh, uh, today is uh, National True Love Forever Day. Only a woman's true love could get past her husband not remembering the special things, like what she was wearing the first day you met. And it's National Friendship Week, and the type of friends you prefer, well, that reveals a lot about your personality. And it would take too long to go through the list, but I have posted it on my blog. If you want to find out what your friends say about your personality, you can do that right now in my blog at DarrenOnTheAir.com. Darren is spelled D-A-R-R-E-N. Let's do it, y'all. It's about time. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. I'm listening. I need a little excitement. Get more Marlar on Facebook. Imagine your lawnmower cutting the grass using only a beam of light. Details on that coming up here in just a bit. I'm Darren Marlar. Welcome to the program. If you like scary stories like ghost stories or uh, Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monster, uh, Unsolved Mysteries, that kind of thing, well, you might like my uh, my podcast called Weird Darkness, which I post just whenever I get an opportunity. Uh, and you can find uh, all the episodes at DarrenOnTheAir.com. Well, itching, uh, it, it is contagious, believe it or not. Uh, to be exact, itching is highly contagious. Even when you're not touching that person, just watching them, watching them scratch, you're likely to start scratching too. In fact, just listening to me telling you this right now, it may have caused you to itch and then scratch. Am I right? 
Uh, see? Uh-huh, see? We've long known that laughing and yawning can be socially contagious, and if you see somebody yawn, well, you yawn. If you see a group of people laughing, chances are you will have the, uh, the, the urge to laugh. Well, the same thing is true for scratching. Previously, researchers assumed this was all in our minds, and now research from the Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis, Missouri, they've proven that contagious itching is hardwired into our brain. It's not a form of empathy. The next time you scratch or yawn in response to someone else doing it, remember, it's really not a choice, nor is it a psychological response. It is hardwired into your brain. So, what's the point? Well, the discovery might help scientists understand the neural circuits that control socially contagious behaviors. Darren Marlar. You're a very odd man. What does that mean? You want more? The Darren Marlar Radio Show. Of all the, uh, the TV shows and movies about Batman, which is your favorite Catwoman? Well, my favorite Catwoman is celebrating a birthday today. I'll tell you who that is coming up. I'm Darren Marlar. If you want to like me, poke me, tweet me, follow me, stalk me, yeah, well, you can find links to all of my social media at DarrenOnTheAir.com. A German company, they've developed a two-seat convertible lawnmower, and it does away with old-fashioned blades or wires, and it slices grass by laser. The advantage is that the machine it cuts the grass so finely that the pieces can simply stay on the ground as fertilizer. The manufacturers say that the lawnmower is powerful enough to be registered for road use and it would cost as much as a fine car, around $30,000. For a lawnmower! Are you, if you can spend $30,000 to cut your lawn, you can pay somebody to mow the lawn for you instead. Want to make your neighbors green with envy? Have a green lawn! In February! Imagine, while everybody else on your block has brown grass, yours can be lush and green with the help of Crudco's Always Green Lawn Paint. With just one coating of Always Green Lawn Paint, you'll have the green, green grass that you've always wanted and your neighbors only wish they had. And for our coastal customers, turn your green lawn into white snow with our Snow White Lawn Paint, just in time for Christmas. And it washes away with the next tropical storm. Crudco's Always Green and Snow White Lawn Paints, giving you the lawn of your dreams while making your neighbors green with envy. And now another useless fact. A study at Harvard University says that young boys who play with action figures that have big muscles and flat, rock-hard abs suffer from low self-esteem. So, if you give your son a Barbie doll instead, that's better for his self-esteem? Why does that not sound right? It's the birthday wrap-up for Wednesday, August 16th. Celebrating birthdays today from Beautiful Girls, Ordinary People, and the TV show Leverage, which was just a blast to watch. Timothy Hutton is 57 today. Uh, you know her as ER's Dr. Carrie Weaver. Laura Ines is 58 today. From Waiting to Exhale, Contact, How Stella Got Her Groove Back, Angela Bassett is 59 and doesn't look a day over 45. She looks amazing for her age. Uh, producer and director James Cameron from Aliens, True Lies, Titanic, and Avatar. He's 63 today. TV's Kathleen Gifford is 64. From the TV show Family Matters and also Die Hard, Reginald Vell Johnson is 65. From Will and Grace, you know her as Tina. Uh, also from Desperate Housewives, she plays Sophie Bremer. Uh, Leslie Ann Warren is 71. Uh, you would know her best as Chief Brody's wife in all of the Jaws movies. Lorraine Gary is 80 today. And actress. Uh, from Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, Catwoman on the Batman TV show, Julie Newmar is 84. Your question for today's Question Impossible, Queen Bees will only sting this one particular living thing. What is it? Again, queen bees will only sting this one particular living thing. What is it? I'll have the answer for you later on in the show. 
Hey, if you like a few laughs after the show, well, you might want to check out my daily dose of weird news. I've got a new episode every weekday, and you can find them at DarrenOnTheAir.com. So, okay, you're out for a brisk walk around the neighborhood, and then a pavement-pounding runner zooms past you. Well, when it comes to your heart health, is that brisk walk really as good for you as a run? Well, the short answer is, yeah, it is. Researchers uh, from the American Heart Association uh, they found that walking is just as good as running when it comes to lowering your risk for heart disease. Uh, when the AHA team they analyzed the health of some 48,000 runners and walkers, that is a big sample size. Well, they were mostly in their 40s and 50s, and they found that that uh, mile for mile, brisk walking was just as effective in lowering the risk for type 2 diabetes, high cholesterol, and blood pressure. Now, did you catch the key phrase there? And they, uh, it mile for mile. So that is both runners and walkers. They still have to put in the same mileage to reap the same heart health benefits. So while it may take an average runner under 30 minutes to run three miles, it'll likely take a walker more than an hour to do so. So the takeaway is walking, yes, it's just as good for you as running, but you are going to have to spend more time doing it. Darren Marlar. This is my house. My house. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. Every day that you breathe, you make my life harder. Oh, this is going to be fun. How fast can you run? Well, one man tried to run 100 miles per hour. How do you think he did? Well, if I tell you that it's today's moment of duh story, does that give you a clue? <laughs> I'll have that for you coming up. Hey, if you'd like to be a part of the show, I'd love to get an email from you. You can email me anytime about anything at DarrenOnTheAir.com. Well, now, Halloween, it's still more than two months away, but apparently that did not deter three people from putting on costumes to shoplift at a Pennsylvania Walmart. One was dressed as a bull, one as a werewolf, and a third as a gorilla. They stole more than $560 in merchandise, but fortunately they were caught. Uh, now, they tried to blame it on the bull market, calling it guerrilla marketing, but police weren't liking that explanation. Candy gets better, kids. Candy gets wonderful. I love candy. It's so good. But there's some bad candy out there. Remember going trick-or-treating? Remember getting the bad candy? You ever get a popcorn ball? Remember those? You're like, why would anyone make this and give it to a kid? What is that? That's the popcorn ball. I made it myself. You need to eat it yourself. That's what you need. That's sick. That is sick. You ever get those wax lips? Remember <laughs> wax lips? You didn't know what it was. You ate it anyway, huh? Like, what are you eating? I have no idea what I'm eating right now. What's it taste like? It has no flavor whatsoever. I don't, it's just getting bigger as I chew it. <laughs> you remember those wax bottles? <laughs> those wax bottles with that liquid? What was that? Power steering fluid? What was that we were drinking? These are fantastic. I, I can feel it burning my esophagus all the way down. It's amazing. You remember the brown taffy and the orange wrapper? Wasn't that the word? Tasted like peanut butter and hair. You remember that? I love what they call candy now. You know, you see those little mini Snickers? What do they call them? Fun size. That ain't fun. Fun size is a whole bag of Snickers just jammed together. A big Snickers loaf. That's what I want for Halloween. A Snicka loaf. That's what I want in my bag. I don't want no popcorn ball. Snicka loaf. Weekends were made for Snicka loaf. You know what I'm talking about? Performance-boosting drugs, powered prostheses, and wearable computers, they're all coming to an office near you soon. But experts warn in a new report that too little thought is being given to the implications of a superhuman workplace. And yeah, I mean, think about it. If you're going to be a superhuman office worker, how can you change into your super suit if you don't have a telephone booth around anymore? Honey? What? Where's my super suit? What? Where?
I'm Darren Marlar, and if you'd like to keep up with everything I do, you can sign up for the Marlar Sheet. It's my free newsletter, which you can sign up for at DarrenOnTheAir.com. Well, how fast can you run? Well, a pawpaw Michigan man, he became lost in the Calhoun County countryside, and his car it became stuck in the mud of a field driveway. Well, the man, whose name is unknown and shall be here be uh, here heretofore referred to as the individual, uh, he tried to push his car out of the mud, and he realized he just couldn't be in two places at once. So he weighed the accelerator down with a metal toolbox and then proceeded to push on the back of his rear-wheel drive car. Well, the plan worked, for the car took off and eventually reached a speed exceeding 100 miles per hour across a muddy cut bean field. Now, here's where the individual committed a second moment of duh. He gave chase. Yeah, the car, like, like he's going to catch up to a car going 100 miles per hour. The car actually became airborne at a couple of places, so we can only imagine the guy trying to run 100 miles an hour and attain enough speed to take off. Uh, the car eventually did come to a stop because it ran into a tree. Duh. Today's question impossible again. Queen bees will only sting this one particular living thing. What is it? The only thing that they will sting is other queen bees. See, now you know why they say there's no room for two queen bees in the same household. If you'd like to get social with me, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Minds.com, LinkedIn, Instagram. Links to all of my social media can be found at DarrenOnTheAir.com. Darren is D-A-R-R-E-N. Well, when it comes to bargain hunting, women rule. Not a big surprise there. I'm, you know, I'll go shopping if I have to, but I'm never looking for bargains. I'm just looking for whatever it is I'm shopping for and then coming straight home with it. I go hunting. I don't go bargain shopping. A recent study shows that a substantial 60% of female shoppers, they're more interested in getting a good deal than quality merchandise. Only 31% were more fixated on finding superior made goods. Now, men, we were almost the exact opposite. 50% of us they were, were more interested in quality, while 43% said that price mattered most. But the Adweek Media Harris poll numbers it also showed that our preferences change as we age, and we become increasingly interested in quality over cost. Price trumped quality by 58 to 33 percent in people ages 18 to 34, by 53 to 44 percent in people ages 35 to 44, and by 51 to 47 percent in people ages 45 to 54. And in the folks who are 55 and over, the trend reverses. Most 49 percent prefer top quality stuff. Only 44 percent put the price first. Now, my, my wife, she's always telling me, hey, look how much money I saved shopping. Um, yeah, uh, the, the more you uh, save, uh, the more somehow I seem to spend. It's the Big Price Buster Clearance Sale now at Marvin's Department Store. With savings you won't believe. How about women's apparel, now 15% off. Children's clothes, 18 to 20% off. All menswear on sale, you save 25%. Kitchenware and appliances, now 35 to 40% off. Yeah? Well, try shoes 50% off. That's half price. Oh, yeah? In that case, I've got greeting cards and school supplies 51 to 55% off. Oh, did I say 50? I meant shoes are 60% off. Watches 60. No, 65% off. Toys 80% off. 80? All clearance jewelry 95% off. Uh, uh, 96. 97. 98. 105% off. What? I'll give you 20 bucks to come take these shoes home. You can't do that. Just watch me, Buster. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's clearance time at Marvin's. The sale is on and the gloves are off. Michigan troopers, they did not have to go very far recently to make a drunk driving bust in today's Brain on Drug story coming up. I'm Darren Marlar. If you'd like to catch up with uh, the show, uh, maybe you missed a past episode, you can find the podcast at DarrenOnTheAir.com. Well, a secret elite section of Tinder has been running for at least six months now. Now, if this is the first that you've heard about this, you are not one of the elite. Tinder Select, it's by invite only, and it's aimed at CEOs, supermodels, and other hyperactive, upwardly affluent types. 
So in other words, all of the uppity, conceited people you'd be miserable dating anyway. Are you looking for the love of your life? This is Dr. Clark Neal. I created MeHarmony.com. MeHarmony.com is all about hooking you up with someone who is only interested in the things you like. In my past relationships, I tried compromise and found out it just wasn't for me. Thanks to MeHarmony.com, I found someone who's only interested in doing things I like to do. Before MeHarmony, I never knew how much fun it would be to watch soap operas, The View, and The Woman's Channel. But now I feel like I've found my soulmate, just as long as I do everything she wants me to do. At MeHarmony.com, we match up couples using only one dimension. It's all about me. Now we'll not be watching any football games because I don't like football. That's fine, dear. Now clean the house, get into the kitchen, fix dinner, and bring me some bonbons. Right away, my love. Log on to MeHarmony.com, and soon you'll be singing. This will be an everlasting love for me. With smartphones in hand, we are having a hard time dropping our workload when 5 p.m. rolls around. Even after an eight-hour day, many employees report checking emails and taking work-related calls after hours. Having constant access to our mobile communication streams, it tacks on an excess two hours of work a day. Raise your hand if that applies to you. Yeah, same here. And you know what? I would actually be fine with all of that, just so long as I'm allowed a four-hour lunch break. Important assignment! Important assignment! Did I make it clear that your job is at stake? You've never been out of college. You don't know what it's like out there. I've worked in the private sector. They expect results. What a filthy job. I don't like my job, and uh, I don't think I'm going to go anymore. Human beings were not meant to sit in little cubicles staring at computer screens all day, filling out useless forms and listening to eight different bosses drone on about mission statements. I hate it here. Of course you hate it. People work here. If you like scary stories, you might like my show Weird Darkness, which you can find by clicking on the tab Weird Darkness at DarrenOnTheAir.com. Well, it's time for today's Brain on Drugs, and Michigan troopers, they did not have to go very far to make this drunk driving bust. This is your Brain on Drugs. <laughs> Authorities say the suspect drove onto the lawn of a Michigan State police post in Paw Paw, Michigan. Trooper report, uh, troopers, that is, report the driver was visibly drunk and had vomited on himself. According to the troopers, the man picked the wrong spot to stop and rest. Police say he has a history of drunken driving arrests, and his blood alcohol level was more than twice the legal limit. This is your brain on drugs. <laughs> Any questions? A recent report says Americans commuting to work lose over 3 billion hours sitting in traffic delays every year. Wow, what a waste! I mean, those are hours that could have been spent surfing YouTube. And now with the station editorial, here's Connie Suvater, friend of the general manager. Okay, so I'm Connie Suvater, and today I'd like to talk about road rage. I'm against it. Something should be done about it before it becomes a problem. Why don't we just get rid of it? I mean, road rage is wrong. I know lots of people do it, but that doesn't make it right. Johnny Mathis said it best when he said, Chances are, though I wear a silly grin the moment you come into view. So let's put an end to this road rage business. That's my opinion. I'm really sorry if I seem harsh, but this road rage stuff really gets me angry. Take care. If you'd like to listen to any of my past shows, you can find them on my free mobile app. Just click on the mobile app tab at DarrenOnTheAir.com. Well, uh, when you go to sleep at night, do you ever get those involuntary muscle spasms? You know, they're actually pretty common and they're harmless. They're known as hypnic jerks or sleep starts. And the spasms, they, they kind of make you feel like you're falling or you've suddenly been shocked awake. Does that sound familiar to you? Well, most experts, they speculate that these jerks, they happen as a result of your nervous system relaxing as you're slipping into sleep mode. It's also possible that neurons misfire because the brain misperceives the muscle rel uh, relaxation as actual falling. Well, hypnic jerks, they might occur more often when you are stressed out or sleep deprived or if you work out or have caffeine closer to bedtime. 
If they are regularly disturbing your ability to fall or stay asleep, though, you might want to see a sleep specialist, because they could be linked to an underlying disorder like restless leg syndrome or even sleep apnea. Dude, listen, listen, listen. listen. What's your name? Jaron Marler. I'm going to make him stay here. The Jaron Marler Radio Show. I have no faith in this at all. If you want to like me, poke me, tweet me, follow me, stalk me, uh, you can find links to all of my social media at DarrenOnTheAir.com. Darren is spelled D-A-R-R-E-N. Had a great time on the show with you today. I hope you did as well. I'm going to leave you with this thought. Uh, in 1938, a hurricane threatened the New England coast. People feared that the railroad bridge at White River Junction would be destroyed. And the danger was averted when some thoughtful person backed a line of loaded freight cars onto the bridge. The bridge withstood the force of the winds because of the weight that it bore. Now, the weight of your responsibilities, they may rest heavily upon you right now, but that weight may be the very thing that keeps you from being swept away by the storm of life. Good night, ladies. Good night, sir. Hit it, sweetheart.